welcome back to Royalty Soaps. Today I will be doing a demonstration of the earthworm trail technique. Somebody else may have done this before and this may have another name, but I've never seen it done before, so I get to name it. <laughs> I just think it looks like one of those little earthworm trails that they make in like a kid's study box, you know? It's got all the dirt in it and they're always worming around or whatever. That's what it looks like to me, so that's that's what we're naming it. <laughs> also, it's monochrome today, so black and white with shades of gray. This fragrance oil is called Shave and a Haircut. It's from Brambleberry. It is made with a gentleman in mind, though I must say almost everybody likes it. It's a really nice fragrance fragrance so don't be put off if you are not a manly gentleman because it just smells super clean and really fresh. I personally am using it in my shower. So without further ado, let's make some monochrome soap. We will now pour our lye water solution into our oils. Our lye water solution is at 14,000 degrees. It's not, I'm kidding, it's at room temperature, but if you can name that movie you get bonus points. It's 10,000 degrees. Oh dang it, apparently I can't can't do it right. <laughs> Y'all, okay, this is take number two because I wheezed through the whole first one. Kenny just said I'd never be able to squash a fly with my bare hands because it's like a living grape. <laughs> hey, what are we doing here? Um, I gotta split this off into five equal portions, guys. Five equal portions. This thing's heavy. Splitting off batches is not my favorite thing to do because I start wheezing and I get out of breath because they're so heavy. And now that I have poured everything into my five containers, I'm gonna scrapey scrapey out my big container because we won't be returning to it today. And I'm going to have to color and scent these one at a time because while it is a layered soap, uh, this fragrance oil makes it set up a little bit quickly. I'm working with titanium dioxide and black oxide, which also makes soap go a little quicker, so that's why. We're going to begin with the darkest color. Black, or the darkest lack of color, black. The first thing I'm going to add is some organic charcoal powder, one tablespoon. This is USDA certified organic and it is made from coconut carbon. Then I'm going to add in a little bit of black oxide. So this is gonna be a very, very, very black layer. And then before I even blend that in, I'm going to add our fragrance oil. Once again, this is shave and a haircut by Brambleberry. It is so good. This would actually be a really cool soap to shoot in black and white, actually, because it'd be very contrasted. Okay, so now I'm going to blend this up with my stick blender. that everything is blended, we are going to pour it into our large slab mold. Y'all, we tried our darndest to get these sides to stay up. We need to get some chip clips <laughs> because tape is not cutting it for us. So I apologize that these are bent in. But it'll also be satisfying as we fill it up. Very true, very true. I'm gonna scrapey scrapey out this containy. Give it a wee shimmy. Layers always take a little while, so let's go ahead and speed them along and we'll do some satisfying pouring.
So for the top, I'm just going to give it a little bit of texture. Obviously, there's no glitter or anything like that on top. I just don't want it to be 100% flat. So I'm just taking a chopstick and kind of mixing it. And if there's any place that has a little bit of gray that popped up, I am strategically avoiding those areas because that's really not supposed to be there. I will definitely in the future stay away from that gray and I will very probably wipe down the very last gray layer so it doesn't pop up into the white. Sometimes I go around a couple of times. This is what we did on the Baby Bastille soap, which I definitely need to make some more of. You guys really like that one. It's a Bastille recipe, so it's mainly olive oil. It's very, very gentle and nourishing. It's a really good one. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Maybe put a few little more tiny ones in here. All right, and we're gonna move on to putting salt on the top. I have some black Hawaiian style sea salt, and we're just going to sprinkle that right on top in the middle. I had a little much right there. I'm gonna try to be a little more sparse towards the end of these bars here. This is just to pull that dark, dark black color in the bottom of the soap back up to the top. Just a wee, a wee smattering of black. Kind of looks like pepper on top of <laughs> fettuccine alfredo. <laughs> okay, last little bit. We're just gonna sprinkle on here. I am not going to spritz this with rubbing alcohol. Once again, I don't want those salts to melt and they're very tiny, so that's it. We are done with monochrome. I think you guys are really going to like what the inside of these bars look like, but honestly on top it looks so creamy and velvety. It's hard to pick which is my favorite, the inside or the top. So we're gonna let this sit for 18 to 24 hours and then we will come back and split the slab into loaves and cut the loaves into bars after this quick commercial break. You guys, I'm so excited. When I got to see this part right here, once I split the slab, I was like, oh girl, I know this one's gonna be good. So I'm gonna turn it on its side so we don't make any little drag marks with the salts. I feel like I'm just hissing like a snake. There's so many S words. Then I'm gonna press down very gently with Evangeline. Kermit and Rosalyn are at the other studio. Don't worry, they're still around. We just use them for our other soaps. I'm not gonna take the end pieces off because I want to be surprised. Let's sneak these out. <gasps> oh my gosh. I, I actually can't believe it. It looks better than I even thought it would. Also, the gradient I was praying would turn out right and it did. There's just enough contrast. We got a little bit of glycerin rivers on this side. That's just because I had to add some extra TD water in there, but I know how much TD I have to add now, so those won't be there in the upcoming soaps. But oh my gosh, it's so cool. This one kind of looks like a little, little palm leaf. <laughs> okay, the question of the day is, do you prefer to watch movies in black and white or color, especially for the ones that allow you to watch them in black and white? It's, it's kind of a confusing question, but basically I just want to talk black and white art in modern cinema. You can watch Mad Max Fury Road in black and white. You can watch The Artist in black and white. So yeah, tell me, does that add to like the visual appeal for you? Does that make it feel more artistic and creative and enhance the film to watch it in black and white? Let me know in the comments below and also vote on the question of the day in the upper right hand corner of the screen. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave us a comment down below. We have Instagrams, so many Instagrams, one for soap, one for me, one for Kenny, if you're interested in following us over there. And if not, that's cool too. Also, you should follow Kenny on Twitch because apparently he likes to dance for like three hours for your entertainment. Shameless plug for my dancing brother. Be sure you do so 
something fun for yourself today, whether that is drying some citrus fruit. <laughs> As you can see, Brambleberry sent me a PR package and they have little sun-dried fruits in there. Let me tell you something, Brambleberry PR packages are the best things I've ever received. They're so beautiful, they do such a good job, every company should be like Brambleberry. There, I said it. Or perhaps you would like to buy yourself some new cleaning materials. Get those old ones out that don't work. I know y'all know what I'm talking about. Everybody's got a squirt bottle full of something that doesn't actually work, but you can't bear to throw it away because you spent like three bucks on it. Throw it away. I don't care what you do. Just make sure you do something fun for yourself. I mean it though, seriously. Go out and do something, anything, even if it's something you don't necessarily enjoy, but you know you need to do. Just go do it. And until Saturday, have an absolutely royal rest of your week and I'll see you on the gram. Yeah. Keep that. And then they're like, dun, 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 dun.